Hello everyone and welcome back to the DRT.com YouTube channel. Hello. On today's episode of our series Interior Design Talks, we'll be looking at a challenge that was set for our interior designers, which was to furnish an 80 square meter apartment in the Milan zone. And this apartment is very special because it's compact yet very efficient. And the clients wanted to optimize the space, including all of the necessary furniture, but without overcrowding it. And they love color, so they wanted to include pops of color, but without being over the top. Let's take a look at this beautiful apartment. Okay, here we see the floor plan of the apartment. Here we have the entrance. At the right of the entrance, there is an empty room uh, which is going to be used uh, as, a, as an home office. Uh, here we have the proper entrance with the beautiful item we will see a bit later. Yes. And we have the perspective toward the dining area with this round table and uh, the bar. Oh, our face is hiding the beautiful bar area, as it <laughs> off. Uh, here, here it is, yes, the round the table. Yes, the bar. Okay, and uh, then we go to the, to the sitting area with the telly, the kitchen with the island. And here we have uh, the, the striking side of the, um, of the apartment with uh, the, the main windows, yes. which bring in most of the natural light. And then we have a beautiful master bedroom with ensuite bathroom. Uh, we have this tiny corridor with the two closets, uh, one for uh, each of the couple. And we have uh, the, the proper bed with the bedside tables. Another uh, home office area. Uh, probably these two clients happen yes. to work uh, from home uh, yes, quite yes. often, which is quite normal nowadays. And here we have the ensuite bathroom with the sliding door. Uh, so it's a beautiful laid out uh, plan. Uh, very practical and so you define it properly saying it's uh, compact yet efficient exactly because every every square meter of the house has been properly used yes so here we enter into the house this is the entrance area and we see that there is this beautiful entryway unit which is very very convenient and here we have the plan suspended drawers and the midly wide wardrobe which has a reduced depth and as you can see it's perfectly in line with that drawer which is very beautiful i mean this is such a perfect zone just to place your car keys wallets bags anything that you need to put down immediately as you as you come into the house we see it has an integrated grip opening the drawer and this finish is called tortura or dove in english which is this beautiful light gray melamine there we see the wardrobe with the reduced depth from the other side yes okay, yes yeah. yes Okay, and let's have a look uh, at uh, the materials used yes. for this entrance, which are the tortora and the mocha shine for the details. Yes, yeah, a beautiful neutral. It's very area. neutral, mm -hmm. okay, and, and quite luminous. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So here we are exiting the entrance hall, and as you can see, there's already the beautiful ray table with the Linda chairs there. And when we go through into the living space, we can see them quite clearly. This is the Ray round table, which has a beautiful ceramic top in Noir Désir. And this is paired with the Linda chairs in red wine colored faux leather Eco Nubuck. And I think this is such a beautiful pairing with those brass colored legs also of the table. It's actually beautiful with the light coming in. It is, it is. I really like that this apartment is so luminous with, with all of the light, thanks to all of those big mm -hmm. windows. And I think that these Linda chairs are actually quite comfortable because they're yes. very padded. Exactly, they do look very soft, very welcoming. Yeah, we see them again. It's not, uh, it doesn't have armrest, but uh, it's quite rounded on the back. Yes, uh, so I, I guess that when you lie back, uh, uh, you can uh, you can feel it. Uh, I I, lo uh, I love the the design of the ray table. Uh, you know, it has it's peculiar. It's peculiar because it has three legs. And this sometimes it makes more difficult to place four chairs around it. Uh, but uh, so it means that uh, out of four guests, there will be four people sitting around it. There will be someone who probably has a leg, uh, <laughs> uh, which is an entrance to the yes. comfort. But it, it looks beautiful indeed. Absolutely. And it, it, it has a very nice and interesting design. Um, here we have the detail of the chair. Beautiful. Um, actually, Ikunabu, we'll see the sample uh, in, a, in a moment. Uh, it's quite practical. Because, yes. Because you know, these, these chairs are upholstered and the fabric is not removable. And so you either uh, make them in leather or it must be a fabric which is very difficult to be stained. Otherwise, uh, it, it becomes unpractical. Yes. Here we see the match between the Noir Desir. 
uh, here you don't perceive it uh, as being shiny as in the previous images. Here you see how the lighting in the ceiling uh, reflects uh, while uh, uh, where it is. Okay, here you, you, you perceive it uh, more shiny. You, you see the shininess of the light wow. coming in. Here you, you see the, the colors, which is a bit uh, brown, golden. And uh, here we see the, the, the bar item. It seems yes. that every video that we shoot, uh, there's a bar, there's a bar. Every video. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is a, a nice design because we have custom cabinets, custom in width on the left and right. Then we have uh, these uh, dove, uh, plant dove elements. <coughs> with a, they create a, an interesting volume where we have this uh, volume here in the middle, which is deeper than the rest. Yes, it's very interesting visually having that um, suspended unit in the middle that kind of divides. You see better space. here. You see that uh, these doors, this one and this one, are wider than the column that they cover, yes. both above and below this horizontal unit. And uh, uh, it creates uh, a, an open uh, shelving, a, shel a shelf system, uh, yes. um, which is partially hidden by the fact that these doors are wider than the, the column. Uh, yes. the, the, and uh, it, it is a beautiful palette with the same Tortora that we have seen before. Yes, exactly. Uh, Rovere Bruno, well, uh, yes, the, the dark Rovere oak. Bruno, the oak. And these uh, burgundy red uh, shelvings. Yes, yes. <coughs> so the plan open shelves and the dark <coughs> burgundy Here we see another, another detail. It's all with push-pull openings, so no handles, very clean in design. A beautiful bottle of, uh, bottle of Prosecco here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and actually these doors, you don't need uh, the push-pull because you can simply Grab them yes, and, and, and pull. Okay, and uh, the lighting here as well. Uh, there's there's a, a LED strip uh, which is an embedded in the side of the column, this side here, which goes from below to the top, uh, and it creates uh, a beautiful light uh, in this area. You see that the light yes. here is you actually perceive the light, but you, you don't see the lighting fixture. So let's <coughs> move on to the materials. And uh, so we were seeing uh, the materials for the table. <coughs> so we have this uh, ottone, is yeah, brass. Uh, brass, yeah, <laughs> brass for the structure of the table, and uh, the noir desir shiny, shiny yes. ceramic. It's a really beautiful combination. <coughs> yeah, I love it because here on the on the ceramic you do see the same exactly. brass shade as exactly. as the <coughs> and. I will lie down and we see the chairs here. Okay, you know, with the chairs, this is an, a concept that we've shared before. The chair, when chairs chosen were not available with the same finish as the base of the table, okay. but uh, it's this bronze uh, finish, which is uh, perceivably darker than this brass finish of the, of the table, but they are reasonable, they are a shade and shade, a color on color. Exactly, effect. they do still go well together. And they, they work well because they're not identical but they are clearly separated. Yes. And so you do perceive the colors. I don't really like it when you try to get to the same color and you don't achieve the objective. While well, here it works, okay? And uh, here we must play with light and we have a cloud outside the office, okay? <laughs> so we have, the, for the Italians, we can say we have the Fantozzi cloud outside. <laughs> outside. It's, a, it's an Italian comedian. And here we have the burgundy red, which was used for, yeah, for the chairs. So together with the with the um, Noir Désir is the palette that we've seen in the pictures. Ah, well, Jay, wait just a moment. We also have, this is the nice thing of not preparing properly. And we also have, uh, where is it? Okay, here it is. Okay, we have the Tortora. Oh, here, Tortora, which is for the bar unit with the uh, Rovere Bruno, the dark oak uh, back. Yes and uh, the burgundy red uh, shells. And you see that uh, it's, yes. it's a good palette because this is the bar unit, which connects directly to the entrance unit. Exactly. And uh, uh, it creates a dialogue between the shells and the chairs. You see, it's not exa the exact same red, but when you separate them just a bit, uh, they look perfect together. Absolutely. A it's nice smooth board, I would say. So now looking across from the dining area with the table and the bar, we can see the relaxation or TV zone with the couch, the sofa and the, the television with the suspended plan TV base, which is in the Rovere oak or oak wood effect melamine, which is very, very beautiful. And I like that it's suspended because it really gives a light effect to, to the room. Also here, you see, this is the, the entrance way. 
And this is uh, with the uh, tiny corridor and the wide element we were seeing before. Yes. And this is uh, a, a glimpse uh, of the night of the master bedroom. Yes. So this wall, behind this wall, there's the service bathroom. Okay. And actually, we see it here. This wall is uh, kind of a passage be be between to move in, the, in, the, in this apartment, between kitchen, night area, entrance and dining. You always pass in front of this area, which yes. is generously wide. And so if, even if it's, we can say it, it's a tiny apartment, but, but there's much free space. Absolutely. You don't perceive it as being tiny. No, it's no. not cramped. And so it was correct to have a, a, an hanging cabinet, which is quite light. You don't exactly, perceive it as exactly. being. And then the TV is, of course, mounted on a panel, which is in the same finish that we see on the entryway unit and the bar cabinet, the Tortora or Dove color melamine, which is a very nice, subtle color. And then the client has chosen to add their own LED lights behind the television. Yeah, you can, on these sort of panels, you can have, uh, we can offer the LED lightings on the perimeter, but in this case, it was an add-on behind the telly by the client, okay. by the client himself. And here we see the detail of the plan cabinet, Robert Bruno. We see this is laminate, but it's a high-end laminate, and uh, you can perceive it that it's not real wood. Only even by this picture, I, I could it no, would be no. difficult to tell it from from real wood. Actually, in my experience, if I zoom this much, I can tell it's not real wood, but it's a very high quality uh, laminate, Absolutely. and thus both in terms of visual perception, uh, touch and reliability, it's a very good choice. Absolutely. It keeps costs down and it's even more scratch resistant yes. than real wood. I love real wood, I must say. But uh, when, when it's a very good laminate, I must, I must admit yes. it. <laughs> then here we see the axle sofa, which is a linear sofa, which of course very comfortable with those lovely wide armrests. Yeah, yeah wide armrests, uh, we, we have these wide seats. And this is special approach to uh, the, the relax mechanisms. Because sometimes there are sofas where uh, you have a relaxed mechanism and you can adjust uh, the backrest by, no, you can, you can adjust the seat by prolonging the seat. Yes. You, can, you can take it out like a relax uh, yes. mechanism. While in this case, you adjust uh, the, the backrest. So you see that this backrest is a bit towards the front yes. and this is push, pushed towards the back. And so you have the same result of the result of a deeper seat, not because you pull out the seat, but because you push back okay. the, 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 the backrest. Yes. Uh, it, I must admit that it's a, it's a system which is not very popular in Italy, very, okay. not very used in Italy. Our French and German clients like it a lot. And uh, in this case, the sofa is against the wall, so we don't perceive it from the back. But I can tell you, you can see it in the, in the, on the catalog, that it looks good from the back. Okay. And uh, well, it's, it's a different approach to, to a relaxed sofa yes. because you have a more formal seating with the standard depth and the more relaxed inf informal seating uh, with the, the back pushed uh, towards the wall. Uh, okay, this is the, the Vegas uh, Velvet. Yes, uh, yes. Together with some scatter cushions uh, in Vegas Velvet yes. and by other fabrics that were chosen by, yes. by the client itself. And I think this is a perfect example of how our interior designers incorporated color into the home because the clients love color, but it's not over the top, it's not exaggerated. Yeah, actually, it's the only, well, there are some green accessories, yes. uh, but it's the only green element. And uh, you see some red, uh, Ferrari, <laughs> uh, you see, it's, it's very refined, I would yes, say, the use absolutely. of color, because all the main items of furniture are uh, in neutral colors. Yes. Then you have the red chairs, the green sofa, all, all the rest is very neutral and, and, very, and very refined. Let's have a look at the materials. So let's start from, uh, well, of course, we, all, we are, still have the Tortora and uh, the Rover Bruno of the uh, plan hanging cabinet and yes, TV, yes, TV yes. panel. And we also have the, this one. The green, the, Here we yeah, have the yeah. velvet. Of course, this changes a lot depending on how the, you see, if I turn it like this, it, it appears much darker, but it becomes lighter depending on how uh, light falls Absolutely. onto it. Uh, of course, this is not the, the direct mesh because we're on, on the other side. But uh, yeah, it fits well. And we get uh, to the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is a 360 centimeters linear composition with an island on top with the... Uh, the stove. The stove, I always forget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the stove and, and we, have, does, we have the sink on the, on the main wall. Okay. And uh, 
we have the lollipop stools uh, in front, uh, so these clients can have a breakfast or a quick yes, uh, yes, dinner nice. or, or a quick lunch on the, on the stools. And then we have the dining table on the other side of the room. Here we see the stove with the um, big drawers underneath. A big working area. These lights are, are the lights of the hood, with, of the hood okay. which are reflected on the, okay. on the shiny surface of the ceramics, of the Radvisi ceramics. This element here is uh, actually you push it and uh, you, you can pull out uh, an element with plugs. Uh, oh, okay. it's, uh, it's for electricity and for to, to give electricity to accessories that you can okay. use on the working, on the working count countertop. There is the sink, which is built in in the, um, in the ceramic uh, top yes. and the ceramic backsplash. Which is of course the Noir Désir that yeah, we Noir saw Désir. on the table. And the bigger the surface, the more beautiful wow. is, the, is the, Absolutely. The, the veneer. No, not the veneer, the, 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 the veins. The veins, the yeah, okay. Here we see the composition, we have 60 on both sides, uh, we'll see it better here if we zoom in. Okay. We have 60 on both sides and then we have 90, 60 and 90, this is the dishwasher, okay? And uh, we have, uh, it's, it's a very clean design, Absolutely. so it's, it's all, um, the, the model uh, that was chosen, it's, uh, six. it's a 6, which, which uh, it, it has this uh, uh, built-in uh, grip, okay? and. Uh, uh, it's very clean and neutral. Well, Absolutely. we can we can say much about it, and I can say it's very well uh, fitting into the um, uh, into the the, the 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 available space because in this case this is where it works. Uh, you see that the the space available uh, was a bit wider than yes. the three hundred and sixty yes, of yes. the composition. What has been done is that we coordinate with the clients. We say, okay, the kitchen will be three hundred and sixty. Uh, you can uh, talk to your technician who will do the, 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 the plasterboard work okay, in the house yes. that we need, uh, let's say, 362, 363. And uh, we, then we place the kitchen right inside the niche that has been created. Because a different approach could have been that, uh, for example, this could be a filler made with the same materials of the kitchen. Okay. But when you do that, uh, let's assume that this wall was not perfectly linear. In that case, that filler would be linear and you would perceive the slight curves of the wall. While when you do this, you get a perfect fit on the, uh, on the side and on the, on the, towards the ceiling. You have minor, minor gaps. These uh, 1.5, 2 centimeters gaps yes. is, ne is necessary to install the furniture. And here you see just a few millimeters on both sides and it's perfect. So you, you, you do spend, you do invest on the, on the technician that does the plasterboard Absolutely. work all around it, but you save money from, from, the, from the furniture supplier because you don't purchase the fillers. Okay. And uh, the, so I could say that in terms of investment, it's pretty much the same, okay. but the overall design is much better. Absolutely. And even much safer that you will know what the result will be. While with fillers, you always ask yourself, oh, will, when it's, once it's fitted, will it look uh, great? Or will it be subpar? Yes, exactly. This is a safer way, in my in my opinion. Yes. Ah, let's review the materials. So we have uh, a different finish than uh, than the tortura of the of the wall system yes. uh, wall system so area. This, this is called mink or visone in Italian, which, which, is, which is really very similar though to tortura. It is. It yeah. is very similar. And uh, this is. Uh, uh, Olmo, how is it called? In? Elm. Elm, Elm, Elm yes. okay. But, but which is still very similar to the wood which has been used for the, yes. for the uh, living area. So they match perfectly. This probably has a tiny shade of grey which works very well uh, with this yes. uh, mink uh, finish. And here we, again we have uh, the uh, sample for the Noir Désir. Of course the sample is not as beautiful as the big no, surface. No. But yeah. <laughs> so you have a perception of the mood board of the kitchen. So moving along from the open area living space, we move through this corridor where there is the Utah Pacific wardrobe, which has very cleverly been finished with this stop sole kind of glass reflective material on the doors, which enhances the, the visual size. It makes the apartment seem bigger. And this is why, once again, we say it's compact, but it's been furnished in a very effective, beautiful way, in such a way that it doesn't seem very compact, it actually seems quite spacious. And uh, the architectural aspect of this uh, room uh, is peculiar in the sense that we have two smaller closets on both sides of this tiny corridor, 
And uh, this is not frequently used uh, in residential spaces, okay. uh, and especially in Italy. Uh, it's more something that it gets used in uh, high-end hotels. Absolutely. And okay. uh, it's, uh, I find it nice. It's not frequently used, it, but uh, I like it because in this very room, it actually saves the room. And it gives uh, a sort of separation between the two, mem the two members of exactly. the couple, the two persons in the couple. Yes, yes. And uh, normally, normally it's as men, we get, uh, here it should be three doors and three doors. It's as men, oh, I get one door and you get four. <laughs> but but there are, it, it depends on the couple, uh, it, it really depends. But it's, uh, um, it, it, it doesn't create, it doesn't give to the room the bulkiness of a closet sometimes Absolutely. you know the six door eight door closet maybe in a in a very present material here are two smaller closets uh, on the both sides of the passageway uh, both with this um, stop sole brown uh, mirror finish yes. uh, basically you get the closet but you then you don't get its presence absolutely i really like it yes and it's a very nice way to connect the living area to the bedroom yeah actually because with you see with the open door you of course if you are perfectly straight you can perceive like in this uh, in this image you can perceive the kitchen or yes. from the kitchen you can perceive the bed but uh, you don't have the bed right beside uh, the door the kitchen yes, door exactly. there's, there's a kind of separation mm -hmm. which works well yeah we have the bedroom with our gravy bed very very beautiful and i like how it's also lifted up off the ground just by those high metal features to give that feeling of lightness and uh, i really like the it's not something we supplied i really like the wallpaper behind it yes 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 um uh, maybe it's a bit uh, uh, strong a bit strong the, the mix between the very strong uh, sheets with this flowery decor yes. <laughs> and the wallpaper i like them both together are, are a bit a strong message yes. um but uh, with the light floor uh, I also love the light floor. I, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm saying I love things that we haven't supplied, but well, that's the part, <laughs> part of my job. It's saying what I think. I, I love the floor. I love the wallpaper. Yes. And also the mix uh, between the bed and the bedside tables. Yes, these are the suspended um, Avana bedside tables, and they are finished in this matte lacquer color called Azalea, which I think pairs so, so beautifully with the blue. It's, mm. it's an unlikely combination, but it really, really does work. And then we have the little lateral minimal handle in mocha shine. Oh, yeah, we see from the from the passageway. Okay. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, actually, you see this azalea color. You pronounce it better than me. I pronounce it the Italian way. Azalea color is uh, it's not pink, but it has some sort of pink yes, in it. Yes, it's not too strong. Uh, and uh, it very well matches the blue the blue of the bed. Here we see a detail. A close up. Mm -hmm. I really like the, the way it is uh, worked and joined in with yes. a very, uh, from this outside you perceive it as being very thin, uh, actually behind the, the front uh, you, you have a normal thickness of the okay. panels, but from the outside you perceive a, a very thin structure, Beautiful. which is a nice detail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, we see, see. A, a smaller or more narrow version of the bedside table. Of course, this sort of detail is a, a result of, of, of the coordination between the interior designer and the client because based on the bedside tables we design to place in a project of course we give, give measurements to the to the client that can then inform their electrician and yes, plumbers yes, and yes. so on and so you have this sort of you see it's just one centimeter below and it's perfectly aligned and this is a result of coordination between, between us and the client lovely Oh, and then here we see the Avana dresser, which perfectly matches the bedside tables. Yeah, with these uh, shells, side yes, shells. Yes, with this, this open element. And a this bit is... of asymmetry in, uh, in what would yes. be otherwise very clean in terms yes, of design. Yes, yes, and I really, really like that. And this is a, that's in the color night blue, which reflects the, dark, the darker shades it, of blue it, on it the bed. Saying, yeah. Yes, yeah, we have this desk in the night blue color and this little bedroom study area home office. Okay. And then, of course, the plan chest of drawers underneath there, which is also finished in the color, the matte lacquer. Nice Actually, blue. this is a chair that was supplied by the client. It's a, it's a nice light pink, which matches well Azalea. Yes, it's exactly. It's a tone-on-tone -tone approach. It all ties beautifully together. And here is, we have the, the drawers unit. Um, so, well, you, you know, when you work from home, you need proper spaces to work from home. Uh, even, even, of course, when you have children, uh, it's even more important. Yes. You cannot have a separation. <laughs> but even if you don't have children, if it's uh, two people, for example, working together in the living room, and one is having a call, and one is having another call on a totally different topic, uh, it can 
disrupt, yeah, and disrupt and the, the, the distract uh, and uh, creates confusion. Uh, so you need proper spaces. Yes. And this is a simple yet effective approach. Yes. It takes up, uh, I think this is 120, 130 centimeters. And you can work properly in this uh, small niche uh, in, the, in the wall. And it's, uh, yeah. Effective, compact and effective. Like, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yes, now let's take a look. Oh, let's at review the materials. You were correct. So we have the stop sole, the stop sole glass. Beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. You, you see that I touch it on the side because uh, you can perceive fingerprints on it. Yes. Uh, but what is important to say is that if, if, if you get a, a, a closet with a, which has built-in handles, yes. then you don't, you you don't, don't you're, to you're not a slave mm -hmm. of the fact that uh, it leaves fingerprints. Oh, yes, yes, so yes. Uh, when for the sample, it's not very practical, but on a, on a full closet with a vertical surface, you don't perceive uh, dust and you don't have the problem with yes. fingerprints. Yes, Bear yes, in mind yes. that depending on, how, on, on the light, uh, it can be more or less, I can, I can see your reflection here, Ooh, this is a poetic <laughs> image. Uh, no, I mean, no, I, what I wanted to say is that uh, it is mirror, it gives a very pronounced mirror effect, here you are, okay, <laughs> but it is at the same time, transparent. Yes. And depending on the, the difference of light bet, uh, bet, uh, outside the closet and inside the closet, of course, inside the closet it's dark and there's light outside the closet. Yes. Uh, in that case, you the, the mirror effect is even more pronounced. Absolutely. When you turn on, for example, LED lighting inside the closet, the mirror effect is less pronounced. And it becomes more transparent. It becomes yeah. more transparent. So uh, when you want a mirror, but you would like it to be transparent, you are undecided, you don't know what to do. Stop Sol is a, is, a great, yes. uh, is a great option. So this is for the corridor. Now when we lay it down, it will be more perceivable as a mirror. We see our camera, camera. camera above, <laughs> okay. Uh, and here we, we have Azalea, matte finish, okay. Beautiful. Uh, how was this called, the blue one? The uh, night blue. Night blue, okay. Yes. Yeah, I, actually, this is the sort of color that depending on how the light falls, so you perceive yes. it darker or less dark, depending. Uh, okay, and here we have the mocha shine, which is used uh, on uh, details yes, of the, the handles. Ah, the, the handles. Yeah, yeah, right. So you, you have this this match here. Okay. Ah, so well, the the, the fabric uh, for of the, of the bed. Uh, this is the Ginkgo biloba, color twenty three, and uh, it is a natural fabric. Uh, it gives this sort of denim effect, yes, um, yes. basic in a good way, also because, you know, with a strong wallpaper like that uh, and also strong uh, flowery sheets like the, those chosen yes. by the client, it's good to have a plain fabric, Absolutely. otherwise it will be too much, I yes, guess. Yes, yes, yes. So moving along from the bedroom, we come into the ensuite bathroom with these two mirrors and then this beautiful suspended bathroom unit and it has a large storage base in a wood effect melamine and this is this effect is called laos and it has the effect of slatted wood um, and i think it actually resembles slatted wood this refined finish very very well but at the same time it's um a more economic choice and, I and think also easier to clean because okay. uh, uh, slatted wood uh, not only is definitely much more expensive but also you need mm, to clean it more carefully yes. it yes. takes yes. much takes much more time yes this is very uh, refined and very practical uh, uh, bathroom. I love uh, I love the tiles that we've chosen. Beautiful. They, they are very natural on the on the walls here. Yes. I love the double mirror and uh, the double sink and the double carpets. It's yes, uh, it's, it's very, very romantic. It's very, very cute. Yes, <laughs> it's, very cute. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful <laughs> indeed. Uh, and also, you know, often um, in suite bathrooms are uh, don't have windows. Here they have natural light, yes. so it's even practical because it's in suite, but uh, I love that. I really hate when you don't have natural yes, light. Yes, uh, yes, So it's lovely. I also like the, the probably they've chosen a specific wow. uh, uh, pink or um, adjustable LED lighting uh, in the, this is the, the, the shower. The shower. The shower yes. that we see reflecting in the mirror. Uh, I like it a lot. Very yeah. beautiful. And uh, here we see the Yeah, we see the sink. This is glossy white ceramic. Very beautiful. And here we see the... Um, the, the laundry corner. Laundry so this, corner. Is, this yeah. is a perfect example of how an apartment, even if it has compact measurements, 
they, the space can really be optimized. And here we have a space saving solution and it's closed. So you don't actually see the washing machine and the tumble it's dryer. A wide, it's a wide closet. Yes, the same closet, closet that has been used for the entrance yes. and for the bar, for the bar, the same collection of the, of the entrance and the bar area. Yes, and then uh, the, the, the finish though here is so snow. It's ah, it is no, I do not the toy you want to no, no. Okay, so we don't have the sample to display, but yeah, uh, so it's a bit lighter and less grayish. Okay, so we have the, the washing machine and the dryer above. These closets normally are deeper than normal closet closets normally are 60 centimeters deep, 61, 62, depending on the model. Uh, this one, this type for the uh, washing machines is uh, 70, 72, because you need not only the space for the uh, appliance itself, but also the space for tubes behind it okay. uh, to bring water and carry out water mm -hmm. and so on. Absolutely. So you need a few more centimeters. Yes. And yes. they're all, all no, normally open on the back. You don't have a back panel to be cut into. Okay. And you don't have uh, the lower panel. So when you open these, so these closets and you, le you look down, I don't think we will see it in the picture, but yeah, if you remove this panel here behind it, where's the floor? So the appliance doesn't rest okay. on the furniture itself. It does rest on the floor. It's uh, more correct for maintenance, both okay. of the appliance and the furniture itself. Absolutely. So they are specifically built and they are, of course, of course, custom made in measure. When you do this, no, you, you, we can coordinate it with the client, but most often, you see, we see both approaches here. Here, the the, ki, 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 the footboard, footboard, the skirting yeah, board yeah, was removed and then was applied again mm -hmm. after the, the closet has been installed. Okay. While here, the, the client and the interior designer together, they agreed uh, they would leave, okay. uh, we would leave, it, leave it. And so the measure has been taken wow. between the footboard here, uh, skirting, board. Sk skirting board and uh, uh, the wall on the other yes. side. Okay. Wow. And here we, ah, here we see it closed. Okay, okay, fine. So we've come to the end of today's episode of our series Interior Design Talks. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this home tour of um, that we took around this lovely, modern, elegant apartment. And we'd like to thank the clients so much for inviting us into their home and allowing us to share with you the beautiful project of our interior designer. Thanks to the client and thanks for, to you for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.